In his latest press statement, Treasurer Ian Lingstaki said there are three areas that the government will look into to address the current situation with Puma Energy. Lingstaki said the first is to assess the specific issues of whether Puma has breached our country's banking and taxation requirements. Secondly is the need to address failings in the fuel market, including the appropriateness of some long-term contracts going back to the inter-oil days. He said the country must also continue to address the broader foreign exchange issues that have been damaging PNG's growth performance since 2015. Ling Staki highlighted in the press statement his recent meeting with the acting governor for the Bank of PNG, Elizabeth Genia. He said during these discussions, he was extremely pleased that the Bank of PNG has indicated their intention to leave the release of foreign exchange to the market from 60 million US dollars per month up to 100 million US dollars, which is 350 million PNG kina per month for all of 2023. This should assist substantially with foreign exchange shortages. Ling Staki said the increase in foreign exchange is a very important step in moving back forward towards a full Kina convertibility. Jumai Masukba, TV1 News.